It's summertime and everyone loves coming to the lake and we are no different. We are here at Crystal Lake, which is just south of Oklahoma City. And joining me again is Brian Dordery with Oklahoma City Foundation. And a lot of people might not be familiar with Crystal Lake. You know, a lot of time, this is actually within Oklahoma City. This is just in a southwest corridor and it's you know less than a mile from I-40. So it's kind of an area that was heavy industrial. It was sand mining, it was that. So this is part of the public property that's up and down the river corridor and it was kind of a diamond in the rough when I was on the River Trust and when they talk about Crystal Lake, I came out here one time to see it and I thought, wow, this is so awesome as the city continues to grow, as trails continue to connect, connectivity. This is, you know, we look for opportunities like this where you have a hundred acres of public land that can op operate as a recreational area. We're right off of MacArthur and I-40 right. and so Crystal Lake has now become a part of all of the bike trails and everything That's through correct. Oklahoma City. Let's yeah. talk about that. Yeah, you know the trail that connects from o uh, from Hefner back to Overholzer. now there's the trail that goes from Overholzer down to the river and down to Boathouse District, and it wraps around Crystal Lake, which, which then just gives that much more connectivity. A lot of times we're looking for those hubs where you have a park and a trail connecting together, and this is a great example of public-private partnership where city care has come in and they help maintain it. It is a city park property. It is on the River Trust, so there's a lot of connection, and then the trails are, are you know, kind of tie everything together. You could ride for miles and miles. That's you right. just got to get back to your car eventually. That's correct. <laughs> correct. So, um, what has the foundation, the Oklahoma City Community Foundation, done specifically here to help activate this space? You know, it's probably over the last decade we've given three different grants here. You know, when we were first here, there was a lot of illegal dumping and shine, and the county commissioners came in and did a lot of cleaning up and getting it cleaned up. And then as you start doing it, you need to start putting infrastructure back in and we started with some of the trees. This was probably our a long linear line of trees we're in to start doing that. So there were two grants on trees and then just recently we gave a grant to activate another 2.4 acres that was pretty rough that will turn into a multi-use recreational field where we've come in and paid for the sprigging and the leveling of them. So whether it's soccer or whether it's volleyball or whether it's just kids running with kites, it just activates more of this area. So as these parks continue to kind of organically grow, then, then activity continues to grow. Well, obviously it's working. It is working very well. Joining us is Dwayne Richardson, who is responsible for managing this beautiful site at Crystal Lake for City Care. So tell us about how the transformation, what did it used to look like compared to now? Oh, it was, it's a night and day difference. It was, it was an old dumping ground and um, City Cares came in and just done some amazing things with the pavilion and the dock. And um, the, the bike trail being added now is a wonderful thing, and it's just, it's really made a huge transformation. And you mentioned the dock. Now, it's actually kind of special because it is handicap accessible, it which is. is unique to uh, a fishing facility. It sure is. We have a spot where if, if they need it, they can pull right up down here, and it's ADA compatible, and they, they can take wheelchairs or whatever they need right out there on the dock. That's perfect. And then you also ha offer archery here. We do. We have a 3D archery course, we have a regular archery course, and we also have a big tower that you can shoot down from over in our archery. And we have a primitive side where we, they set up our 3D archery over in the primitive side where they can shoot like little deer or pigs or things like that that are actual, they oh, look wow. like real animals. Okay, and so when you have camps out here, you've got a camp going on today, you've got a lot of camps, there's a lot of activity for people and the general public can come out here and use this as well. Absolutely, from daylight to dark, seven days a week. It opens at sunrise and closes at sunset. All you need is a city fishing permit and a state fishing license. You can put boats in, you can tube, you can, there's no swimming, but Everything else goes. And there's a beautiful pavilion if anybody wants to have a party or anything there out is, here. There is. It's open for rent. You can rent the pavilion. You can rent the whole lake if you want for a day. Okay. All right. Well, it's it's a really a nice, lovely place, and you don't feel like you're in the city. Here. No, you don't. I love it. Yes, I do. Thank you. Thank you.
Oklahoma Gardening would like to thank the Oklahoma City Community Foundation for the work that it does throughout Oklahoma and its support of our program. Since 1969, the Oklahoma City Community Foundation has worked with donors to create charitable funds and bring together and empower partnerships that benefit our community, both now and into the future. For more information about programs and opportunities for giving, visit the Foundation's website, OCCF.org. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.